There's nobody like Jehovah out of Chicago. That's Charles Jenkins right here in the Songbook of Gospel and FM HDMS now I'm streaming HD1. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? I'm Simone Malone, your radio feel-good man. I aim to make you feel good. I have your gospel musical ingredient every day to make you feel good. Truly one of your most trusted and respected voices in radio. Well, it's getting close to the end of the month, and I hope that your summer is coming along well. We've had some really hot temperatures in Philadelphia. I wonder what it's like in your city. Do reach out to me. You can inbox me right there where you're listening in from, or Feel Good Man, Numerica One at HDMS.net, or Psalm Book of Gospel at HDMS.net. I want to thank Ernest Pugh out of Washington, D.C., for being a special guest on the Psalm Book of Gospel today. For many of you that are on Facebook, and YouTube, my channel is called Trusted Voice and Radio. Right there, you'll get a chance to go back and watch uh, the inspirational moment and my exclusive interviews. I want to thank him so much. What a delight to be able to have him again on the show. He's doing some great things in gospel music. Make sure you pick up his CD if you do not have it. We have a nice picture of him on the wall called Earnestly Yours, Ernest Pugh. That's right. Make sure you pick up that CD. Well, it's always about staying healthy. Are you eating and drinking properly? Are you taking care of yourself? Like the feel good man, every day that I roll over out of that bed, I say, Lord, I thank you for another day's journey. I'm juiced up. That means join me in creating enthusiasm. Someone said to me, you have a lot of energy. I said, yes, I do. I'm very manic. In a very positive way. Why should I have dry bones? I should thank God every day for the things that he has done for me and what he's going to do for you. I just get excited. Yes, don't get me started. I'm about ready to jump out of this chair. Anyhow, it's important that you take care of yourself. You eat right. You drink healthy. And for those of you that are those exercise fanatics, uh, make sure that you uh, you know exercise appropriately and do it at the right time of the day. And we want you not to be um, you know not, not dehydrated or anything like that. Make sure you're drinking that. Very healthy uh, tea, that drink that you like every day. And today, they surprised me. Check this one out, y'all. Look at that. You see those berries in there? Uh -huh. For those of you that can see that. This is, um, they said some V8, right? Some V8. He's shaking his head. Some V8 and some fresh berries and cantaloupe. Mm, doesn't that look good? Let me, let me taste this. Good job. You don't want to say anything. Good job. <laughs> I like that. <clears throat> that tastes really, really good. I'm going to drink on this thing after I get off the air for sure. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate the healthy drinks that you give me. You want to make sure the feel good man is feeling good. I like that. I have some good people that work with me. And, of course, our intern, Mr. Jamal Trusty, we appreciate him so much as well. Well, I want to go into the word of the Lord. I want to talk about changing enemies to friends. Wow. I, I was not going to go here, but God put this in my spirit. You know, through my daily readings, and a lot of us as Christians and people in general have enemies. And you know what I'm talking about. Some of you right now are dealing with a situation where you thought that your friend was really your friend and they really your enemy. Changing enemies to friends. I want you to listen very attentively to this word today. When you get a chance, I want you to open up the book of Matthew. I was there checking it out. Matthew chapter 5, number 43 through 48. I want you to read that during your devotion. But Matthew 5, 44 says, But I say to you, love your enemies. Mm -hmm. Do good to those that hate you. That's a powerful scripture, but is that really hard to do? It is really hard for many of us to love our enemies and do good to those that hate you. It takes a special person. To be able to not hate someone that has done you bad. But God wants you. In the word it says. I say unto you love your enemies. That's what you have to do. And do good to those that hate you. It's a powerful word when somebody says I hate you. I don't usually like to use that word. I like to use the word I dislike. Instead of hate. We will encounter difficult people in our lives. And some of you may be de de dealing with a situation right now where you're um, encountering a difficult person. Some whom you will need to set limits. Those difficult people and those people that claim they don't like you for whatever reason because they're jealous of the way you dress, the way you speak, maybe the way you're built physically, um, they're jealous of your ministry, they're enemies. You need to love them and, and, and do good to them and pray for them. Because people who are jealous of you, to me, are very insecure. Changing your enemies to friends. It'll be a good thing. Check this out. But to give in order 
And, but to give into the temptation to undermine or hurt them in any way is not God's way. God does not want you as a Christian, as a believer, as a real individual to, to hurt them in any way. That's the God's way. Instead, we should pray for them, show consideration, look out for their best interest. You say, how am I going to look out for somebody's best interest when they have done me wrong and they don't like me and they hate me, they don't communicate with me, they don't want to have anything to do with me? But you have to. And emphasize the positive. This may result in changing an enemy into a friend. It's not easy. But you can do it. I have the faith and confidence that you can do it. Not everyone will respond positively to you, but you can pray and plan for a more harmonious relationship. My prayer every day as I work here in the studio and I work with my colleagues is that I want to get along with them graciously, even on my other job in mental health. I want to be able to get along with people graciously. You don't have to be my friend, but I want to work in a harmonious relationship to do what God has called me to do. What difficulty do you have what difficult person can you start befriending huh say lord some people in my life are difficult to love which it is i am tempted not even to try to care but you showed me love to me even when i was your enemy please direct me into ways to love with your power and grace god wants you to know that he wants you to love your enemies he wants you to treat them with kindness because an act of kindness is never wasted. So you have to be kind to everyone that you meet because somebody is fighting a hard battle. And you never know if that battle was yours next time. It's hard to hate someone when you're doing something good for him. Remember that. It's hard to hate someone when you're doing something good for him. Remember that the blessings of a warm and enduring friendship and all the love you even wanted can all be yours remarkably easy so learn to change those enemies to friends if they don't want to be bothered with you just pray for them don't call them don't email them don't text them you know just pray for them and ask god to deal with their spirit and in their heart because we all got somebody that don't like us for whatever reasons they just don't like us but just ask god to help you to graciously get along with everyone that you meet and ask God to help you to be in a harmonious relationship. Let's touch and agree on that word. Father God, I thank you for this word about changing enemies to friends. Lord, we all have enemies out there. And somebody right now that's watching me and listening to me is dealing with a situation that has hurt them because they thought that that person was their friend. And now they're their enemy. Oh, God, I ask you to touch the minds and the hearts of people. Give them more love and patience and tolerance, God, to deal with one another when they're going through. Oh, God, I ask you to mend that broken heart right now. And I ask you to touch, heal, and deliver the pain that our people are going through when it comes to friendships, God. Lord, we want real friends, genuine friends, friends who don't talk about us to other people, that they share things to us in confidence, God, because we know the greatest friends friend we have is in you and i ask you right now to touch somebody that's dealing with this issue of changing an enemy to a friend oh god we ask you to send people god that are real friends to people out there that they will be able to love and support and have and enjoy the bountiful streams of their life with them oh god we thank you for this word that we know that where there's enemies god that you can make them at the bottom of our footstool. And we thank you, God, that they can become our friend. And that if they don't know you as Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, if they're our enemy, God, we ask you to save them, God, and fill them with your precious Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. If you believe God with me, you can say amen. There you have it, changing enemies to friend. Learn to love those enemies. Again, I want you to read Matthew number 5, 43 through 48. But Matthew 5, 44 says, But I say to you, love. Love your enemies and do good to those that hate you. There you have it, the inspiration of the moment, changing enemies to friend. Remember that you're never alone with Simone Malone. I am your radio feel-good man, and I am your friend too, right here at FMHDMS HD1.